Hello everybody, I'm back. Not been able to do much filming lately, I'm doing quite a bit of subcontracting. We've gone through a little bit of a quiet patch, but so we're working down in Derriford Hospital, which is pretty cool. Um, good good bunch of guys down there, riffing me for doing YouTube. <laughs> but uh, all good fun. Yeah, so it is Bank Holiday Friday. Oh my God, I look terrible in that light. Um, that's a little bit better. <laughs> I'm tired, man. We were up at four o'clock yesterday morning. No, that's not true. I left my house at four o'clock yesterday morning to go to Cornwall to do a cable pull. So that was 185 mil five core for about 70 meters. And that was hard work, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, we are doing a smoke alarm installation today in a holiday cottage. So there's currently a smoke alarm on the landing, one in the kitchen and one in the hallway. But because of the new rules for holiday lets, we've got to have them everywhere. So we've actually got to have them in all the bedrooms, cupboards that um, require them based on the the, <clears throat> the criteria, and uh, attached garages and things like that. So they've gone from having three alarms in here to having 14 alarms, I think it was. Yeah, 14. <coughs> so... Yeah, we're gonna crack on with that today. Nick is here with me, so we, hopefully it's gonna be a bit of a short day just to get it in and done. Uh, so Nick's just bringing the scaffold in because the smoke alarm in the lounge is quite high. But yeah, we're gonna be hopefully doing a lot of fishing here. Um, Cause we could just, I could just do this really easily, link off the local lights and do radio links. But it's quite expensive to do that. And I like to do things properly. I wanna have it wired. So we're gonna do some professional fishing and get these all in. So, yes, we're gonna get some gear in from the van and then we'll have a look around and we'll get this one done. Catch you in a bit. Been drilling a few holes. There's Nick. Oh, yeah. He's right? the slightly less handsome one of the duo. Won't go that far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got plan is we're going to drill fish from the landing smoke alarm here into the bedroom in line with this door frame. So up on the ceiling here, we can then fish from there down. We've got to have one in the cupboard here, so we can fish to that point, and then from here back up, drop down the back of this door frame inside the cupboard into that hole in the floor, which gives us access to the bedroom downstairs, which I'll show you. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Luckily, the joists run the right way for us, so it was working in our favor, so we can pick up this bedroom downstairs then. So I've got, I believe, brought there, so that comes from the other side of the house, uh, way over there. So here, above this, stopping about here, is like a just a the loft little loft corners up in the um loft converted room up there and i can fish there's no root there's no floor on the top there so i can fish from here to the little landing out here easily god it's almost like we know what we're doing we go that far. <laughs> terrible and then we're hoping again from that landing one we're going to fish to this point out here in the lounge which is where we put the scaffold up it's quite high uh, but there's a loft, so believe it or not, from here to that landing is only about four metres, so we should be able to fish across there quite easily. Existing heat alarm in the kitchen we can change over. Um, the only other one we've got to pick up, actually, is this bedroom down here, but I'm hoping the joists might run the correct way over here. Um, or worst case, we... Uh, where's that other bedroom? That actually, might, the other bedroom might be above there, so... We can probably pick this one up for that first hole. Pardon me, that first hole we've drilled. So yeah, hopefully not too bad. Let's do this. Okay, 
We are pretty much finished wiring. So we've looped into the lounge. Kitchen we just need to replace. That's gonna be a piece of piece. We've managed to drop down in this bedroom uh, there. So we've not actually even had to take any floors up. We've drilled two holes in the floor, which we're just gonna patch up. Um, we've managed to fish from here to here. This then goes across the room in the joy space back to the other side upstairs. It's been a dream job, dream, dream job. Smoke alarm in there, smoke alarm in the cupboard. We had to take the bathroom light and fan out so that we could actually get across there because there's a flipping bit of ply in the wall there, which we had to drill through to get to the lounge. Another smoke alarm in the cupboard. Where it's gonna, it drop, this is where it drops down then, through the floor to link across. And another one in here, absolute doddle. So we've got some holes to patch in and then a bit of second fixing, but we are gonna go and have a sexy, sexy lunch, Nick, aren't we? Oh, a little date, just for me and you. How oh, delicious. Let's do it. Okay, so we've just been off and had some lunch. It was delicious. Ham and pineapple. Heim, oh, Heim? Heim and ham and pineapple pizza. Very controversial, but I put, I think it's perfectly okay and I actually really enjoy it. Um, Nick went for some like super spicy pizza and extra chili oil on it and all sorts of like fucking mental. I don't do hot stuff, not for me, but yeah. We're all wired. <coughs> Cables are in everywhere. We've just done the garage, so the garage is wired now in all three positions. So we are, I mean, what is it? It's half past two now, so we didn't get it until half nine, it was. So we're gonna start second fixing, really. Second fix, get this done, get it powered up. Should be an absolute dream now. So yeah, not too bad at all. Um, and I reckon, I reckon be leaving here by four o'clock. So what we've got there, what's specified are the lithium range. So it's the ACO lithium. So we've got the EI3014 heat alarms, EI3016, which are the optical smokes, which are again, lithium. Um, and we've got one of the heats for in the kitchen. But what we do also have is because there's the garage, we can't get the interlink through. It's a bit of a pain in the backside. So we've got some of the radio links, which I've not used before, but Luckily, I've got a young boy here with me who has, so. <laughs> um, that is good. So we can get these fitted. By the look of it, they're quite simple. They literally just push into the back of the unit, like that, pushed right in. And you just got, Nick said, you just got to ram a screwdriver in that little terminal at the bottom there. Uh, and they all start talking to each other. So we'll find out in a minute. Hopefully he's not lying to me, but we'll see. So the little smart link modules, these ones here, Literally, I'm gonna do this one-handed as well, so that's just how good I am. Literally, just slide straight in that hole there. And actually just keep, oh my God. It's moving around, oh my God, hang on. There we go. Just pushes straight in. And you've got to be really careful because you need to line up. The pins, the brass pins here. Don't know if that's gonna focus. There you go, and just pushes. Pushes in with ease, no, no like forcing it required. And then all we're going to, have to do once we click this on, once it's powered up, is push the screwdriver in that slot there, and it um, gets them all talking to each other. It's clever stuff. So this is the three hundred three six optical. Sorry, three hundred one six. Sorry. Yeah, but we're um, we're almost at the point. Next, just fitting the last one on the ceiling, um, and then we're gonna. Do a quick test and power up. So we've got the lounge one done there. Kitchen's been replaced with the new heat. One in the hallway. Uh, where's where's the head for this one, Nick? Oh, that's the one I've got, isn't it, for this yeah. one? Yeah. <coughs> one in the garage out here, which we just need to put a little cork around there because the hole was a bit too big. Um, another one up in here. Little bit of a pain. We can't get in this cupboard. The door was locked, so We've got a hole in the side, so we can get in there. We're going to fix that one up, and then fix this back. It's only in there inside the fucking storage cupboard. Um, 
Let me quick look upstairs. So you've got one at the bottom of the stairwell here. That's our end of line, so that's still off, so we can do the testing. One in the bedroom, one on the landing, one in the cupboard. Need a good clean up. One in the bedroom, and another one in here. So this is the one that's got MT2 coming off it, out of it, just because how the ceiling's built up. Celotex with batten <coughs> and some of the um, quilt insulation as well, the uh, the foil stuff. It's just been an absolute pig of a job to get down through there. But yes, so we're pretty much there. I'll show you a quick group getting, getting all connected. And then that is us wrapped up going home. So young Nick here, he's gonna, he's gonna show me his expertise in so this is, oh, hang on, he's, he's lucky he's a tall lad. Oh, hello. Ooh. <laughs> so. A little, little bit too short. Can, can, is it, can you see our arms? Our arms are all cut to shit from the ceilings and that. <coughs> so that circuit is on, and he's then going to put his screwdriver in that little slot where it's got the receiver symbol on it. Blue light comes on, flashy, flashy, flash. Stuff. And then it's just this one in here, Nick, as well, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, it's a new one. Yeah. Oh, I've got the lights off at the minute. Classic. And that one up there, which is just at this side. Very nice. Now they should be paired. And now they should all be working. So if you push that one next. Yeah, I do. You should hear it in there. There we go. Oh my God, it's so loud. Jesus Christ. Look at this, look. it's like an acre of graveyard. Thank God that stopped. Right, yes, so lots of acre alarms have gone in. For some reason, I had an extra one. Don't know why. I seem to have put too, bought too many, but so I've got to take that one back. But yes, so we are on massive, massive cleanup mission now. And then flock off home. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, there we go. Another day done. I must say, I do really actually quite like this holiday let. I love the whole lounge set up. Big atrium window, beautiful place, really is. <sighs> but we're done. So, 13 smoke alarms installed. Uh, well, one heat, one combined CO, etc. Um, but yeah, all done now. Um, it's been a good day. Lots of fishing, get stuff through. But they're all, you know, you wouldn't know we'd even been here now, really. So it's a fantastic job done. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you again, same time next week, hopefully. Who knows? We'll see. It all depends on what I can get done in that time. But yeah, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from handsome Nick. <coughs> yeah, see you soon.